Hi everyone and welcome. So for today's video, I'm gonna be talking about my kidney transplant scar, my peritoneal catheter scar, and my vascular catheter scar when I was on hemodialysis. So first we're gonna start with the vascular catheter scar from hemodialysis and it's right here, right above my chest. It's actually very small. Um, I had this in for about eight months. I had it removed while I was on hemodialysis and when I, I had it removed when I was being switched to peritoneal dialysis. Um, this catheter, if you guys know, it's a very risky catheter to have. So if you're if you do have this catheter, it's so they always recommend that you get a fistula or switch to peritoneal dialysis. So I switched to P PD and liked it ten times better than hemodialysis because hemodialysis was just painful spiritually, physically, mentally for me. So so now I want to show you guys my peritoneal catheter scar. Um, this is actually where the catheter came out from and this is what they cut where they cut the first time to actually get the catheter inside. Um, this is about half an inch and this is about an inch. Um, my catheter my scar actually looks different than a lot of other people's catheter scar because my surgeon was such a great surgeon. His name is Dr. Piper. He says that instead of just removing the catheter, what he does is cut, removes the catheter and the hole that is left behind, he actually cuts the hole out and then sews it so it won't have like that double belly button, which is like known like, you know, after you get this removed, people say that the scar looks like another belly button. So he did a very clean cut on both of them. Um, he, I guess he had to cut it here because inside they like dig it in your skin. So they had to cut here and yeah, it's um, right here and it's not that big. So not really, doesn't really bother me with anything. Now I'm going to show you guys my kidney transplant scar. Let me get my handy dandy ruler. Um, but... As you could see, you could see some of it right here, from here down. It goes about up to here, so I don't want to show you guys too much. It comes up about up to here. It's actually four inches, so this big of a scar. It's actually exactly four inches, so I'm sure they had a ruler and they were like measuring in the operating room, but it's four inches, so you can probably imagine up to here. And um, it's doing pretty good. It, as you can see, it is a little bit darker. It does look like a scar, but every scar looks like that. After my transplant, I was putting vitamin E around it and massaging it into my scar to help with the healing and help with the scarring so it won't, you know, be as bad, I guess. I'm not really sure. They just told me I should do it. And um, I was doing that for some time, but I actually stopped. Well guys, this video was extremely short. I just wanted to show you guys those scars and how they looked and if you're getting a transplant, what to expect. Mine is probably actually a little bit longer than other transplant patients because they did have to cut a little further down to get my inguinal hernia repaired at the same time. So um, I'm guessing a normal one is probably about three inches, honestly. So about this, this one, but don't quote me on that. I'm not too sure. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like my video. And if you're not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and keep your notifications on for future videos. So thank you guys so much. Bye, everyone.